lot of news with Brad Smith and Brandon Brady. Now here's Brad Smith. I'll be covering the Confederate war strategy in the American Civil War. The Confederates had to have a defensive strategy because their goal wasn't to capture the Union capital, but was to stay free from the Union and maintain their own country. The South believed that both the state's rights and slavery were protected in the Constitution, and that those rights were being taken away from the North in the regressive politics. Overall, the Union played an aggressive strategy while the Confederates had a defensive, defensive strategy to just stay away from the Union and not bother them. The Confederacy really only had three main goals. To defend the Confederacy from the Union, not let the Union destroy their army or their land, and wear down the Union in their war. And now Brandon Brady with the Northern strategy. Well, the North have the advantage of a strong president, Abraham Lincoln. They have a very strong Navy and more soldiers than the South do. They have factories to make all the things they needed, and they had crops in the West for food and supplies. They didn't have as good of generals, but had all kinds of, of people to cover that, and strong generals like Ulysses S. Grant and General Sherman. They used the Anaconda plan, where they went through the South and burned crops and cut through them using the Mississippi River. They also used the Navy to block off the seaports to keep the South from getting supplies. They came up with another idea called the Emancipation Proclamation to keep the South from getting help from Great Britain since they were against slavery. Start of the American Civil War and the Confederates' first victory. Joining me now live at the Battle of Bull Run, the first major land battle of the Civil War, the Confederates of Virginia pushed back the Union to, the, to D.C. Ah! Ah! You're joining me now at the live at the Battle of Shiloh, and it's February 1862. This is the first win oh! in the bloodiest battle of the Civil War. Union forces defeated the Confederates and seized the city and the railroads. Generally, in the Confederacy, surrendered to the Union at the surrender of Appomattox.